Hello, this is Barry Dahl at Lake Superior College. This is the first in a series of screencasts of uh, using some of the Web 2.0 tools inside D2L. This will be small snippets of a uh, presentation I first gave at the D2L conference in Duluth this past summer, and I've since repeated that uh, workshop a couple of times. So I'm going to look at one particular tool. If I click on my content page here, see I've got lots of tools in here. The one I'm going to talk about today is Yakpack. And so I'm going to open this. This is not really full screen in order to keep the video size at a reasonable uh, level, but just tell you a little bit about Yakpack. They do also have an education uh, um, option, an option specifically for education now. Um, this is information from their website, but basically it uh, gives you a place that uh, you can uh, keep private, only those that you invite, for example, students in an online class. Uh, group projects, that sort of thing, committee work, whatever. Um, but when you create a Yak Pack, you are able to interact with students, or the students are able to interact with themselves, as the case may be, in various different ways. I think the best way to show this is to really just show you an embedded Yak Pack. So inside D2L now, this is a live Yak Pack page. And again, you can't quite see the entire page because of the uh, frame size I'm using here. But this is basically what it looks like. So in your center area here, you, in this case, there are five people who are part of this yak pack with me in the middle, and whoever creates the one will be the person in the middle. But um, uh, this allows us to communicate in various different ways. Asynchronously, it allows us to communicate just with text messages, so I could, just like a discussion board. Can't really imagine why you would use this as a discussion board instead of the D12 native discussion board. But it does allow you to uh, record audio messages and have basically a threaded voice discussion board. So I'll show you an example of that here. Would each of you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do here at Lake Superior College. Thanks. Hello, my name is Val Lumberg. I am the instructional technologist here at Lake Superior College. I support Lake Superior College employees with software and other technologies. Hi everyone. My name is Christine Torma and I'm the assistant to the Vice President of Technology in the Virtual Campus at Lake Superior College. So that gives you an idea of the uh threaded voice discussion option. There's one other thing I want to bring out here and that is this little button here that says live and push to talk. And when someone else is logged in, and for this demo no one else is logged in, unfortunately, and I can tell that because here this little bright line underneath my picture shows that I'm logged in, but no one else has that, that they're not logged in at this time. So I wouldn't actually have anyone to chat with, but if someone else was logged in, Synchronously, then, I can talk over the Internet to them, kind of a, like a Skype or that sort of thing. I'm not using any telephone line. It's kind of like a walkie-talkie. You have to push down and hold the button down while you're talking, and then let up on the button for the next person to be able to push to talk. But it is kind of an interesting way of getting uh, quick messages in uh, real time. So this allows you to use uh, text message, voice message, and also live voice chat. So I think Yakpack is a very cool tool for group work and that sort of thing, and something that I think is going to become used more and more in education all the time. So that's our first little snippet for D2L, using Web 2.0 tools inside D2L.